Okay. Hi everyone. I hope you're well. I'm just checking if I'm on the computer. I think we must be just going live. I hope you're having a good day. The sun keeps coming out, but it's very, very cold. Hopefully you guys can see me. I can't see you yet on mine, but oh, here we are. I am here. Right, oh, I've got a few of you already on board. Well, I better switch myself off, not that again. Oh, there we go. Otherwise, I hear myself and I see, see myself and really it's not, not a good look. Right, so what have I got for you today? Well, as you know, it's the Baby Pink Challenge and this month's winners will be put forward to attending our online workshops free. So Pip and I are both running this. We've had some great entries already. And I thought, well, Baby Pink, don't ask me. The colours were done ages, in fact, five years ago, believe it or not. And uh, so... We run with them because I think sometimes it's nice to get outside your comfort zone. So I thought, oh, what shall I do? Baby pink? Well, had to lend itself to a baby. So today, um, I'm going to be doing this. Hi, Angel. Um, so basically, I'll just quickly show you. So very, very different to what I do normally. So a really nice, easy card. Um, just to show you, I'm going to show you a few variations um, so that you can get an idea of how to do something like this. Now this would make a really good, um, what am I going to call it, an album as well. So if you were thinking of doing a baby album, you could easily do this. So what you could do is, is run this bit down and punch the holes into these two bits here. So this would be like a beautiful album as well. It's full of memories, full of everything and so forth. You could also, with something this size, this is actually just an A4 folded. So just to make it really, really easy. Hi Blanche. I know it is very, very cute. It's very different for me, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I just wanted to show you, it's just so nice. It's actually a Stamperia stamp. with a baby die and the baby die is absolutely beautiful there you go so anybody who can see that it's oh, better put it against a white that would make so much more easier for everybody so that's the baby die and you can snip into this and use parts of it so it's absolutely beautiful hi Jill I hope your arm is fixed so I've got some stuff to send you today hi Charlie Hi Gloria. So today we're looking at something Dally's out Dally's comfort zone, a little uh, onesie card. You can make this for grown-ups because as you know many grown-ups nowadays wear onesies. Um, so so there's the die, that's the stamp there. It's open so I'm not going to lift it up. So hopefully you can see the stamp as well. So and then what you've got is you've got this as a set. There are actually moulds which Stamperia do to match the baby set. Uh, we've got only a few left now because they stopped their baby line um, in terms of baby girl um, and baby boy and bought a little bit little girl and little boy. So you can see there's loads of different moulds there as well. Can you see? It's all the detail. They're so cute. And obviously they're very light because they're made of air dry clay. I've got loads made. So, so you could actually put a really nice pair of little booties here if you wanted to. If you were doing an album, this would be absolutely brilliant. Um, and then you can have a little, little card where you can actually put inside um, like a gift card. And you could just make a pocket inside your card. And this will fit perfectly inside so it's so nice as a little gift for somebody so it's just a little bit different very very simple to do just a little bit gorgeous really and you could make it a little grungy baby if you wanted to <laughs> it's up to you so with further ado I've got a couple of ways I want to show how to do this 
because I think what it is is that it's important sometimes we don't all have the tools to do these things um, or we, do, we don't want the tools to do these things because it's not, not what we want so I've got a couple of ideas of how to do that now one of the other things I've used which is one of my go-to's is the Becky Said and Die it's this massive, I'm not joking, it's huge um, and then you get all these other elements as well so you get eight elements in total so thank you Pip so and this is what I've been using let me just show you quickly let's get one that I've actually you get and I've been cutting that out and that's what's creating my frills my arms and I'll show you lots of ways of using that as well absolutely beautiful and if you're interested it's actually got the matching stamp set as well so this is called doily dreams and it's the doily dream stencil, uh, stencil die as well which is this one um, and they've actually got five pounds off today so if you go onto our website you will see that set for i think 19.99 which is ridiculous really because that's the sort of price that a die would of that size would cost and we've also got five pounds off the stamperia stamp and die as well set so what have we got for you so i thought well i've done a baby pink so that's my little challenge um why don't I, good morning debbie and why don't i um try something different so that's exactly what i'm going to be doing today so i wanted to be many of you have probably made these or thinking of making them great for a baby album i really do think it would be lovely if you punch the holes and set this slightly wider and punch the holes now as this is a girl one if we want to say pink is girl i don't know controversial now this is a five by seven so if somebody wants to do a five by seven to fit into an envelope this is based on a um a four sheet folded and then this is a five by seven so five across and seven down so the couple of ways to do this one is you can do it by hand and the other is if you've got any punches or circular dies so a couple of ways to do it so I'm going to show you both because I think it's really important that people understand that if they haven't got the tools or if they want to do it freehand um, all different sizes then this is the best way I found to do it so first what you do is you cut your card down to uh, five by seven just a square card down to five by seven okay then what you do is let me show you to make life easier okay so if your card is five by seven which would be roughly I'm just going to cut this piece of paper down roughly while I was here I'm going to grab my scissors Onto the bigger scissors that's all so all i'm doing is i'm cheating actually i'm going to cut this piece of card with uh, with the scissors just a card paper as my template just down to let me show you it's really easy to do okay oh, that's really not that Ooh, straight let me go this way it doesn't i have to be honest it doesn't i'm only doing it to show you okay so you start off with cardstock whatever color you want white or whatever basically that would be five inches across and seven inches down okay so folded card like this yep yeah? so that's what the pink one started as so Um, so, oh, Pip's going to match my deal. Ha oh, ha! Oh. Fighting talk there. <laughs> That's brilliant, Pip. I'm really happy that you can do that. So, ladies, I really do recommend these. The, the Doily Dream Style, really, really great. I've just started using it for some of my Christmas new papers that Pip and I have designed. So, five by seven is where you start with your cardstock right now to make the template 
to be symmetrical, if that's what you want, then just have cut. I mean, I've done this with copy paper. That's all you need to do it with. So, but you can do this a lot, lot nicer than I can because I'm just doing it very roughly to show you. So what you would then do, not like Pip, who would have had it measured out to the T, cut for you and everything, but you'll get the gist. So this becomes just the front of the five by seven. Okay, forget about my wiggle tea lines. And then what you do is you, I'll fold it this way, it's just easier. You fold this, okay, just fold it in half. So this is just a template. Once you're happy with your template, then you can cut it out of cardboard if you want. You can cut it out of whatever you want to as a template. Okay, so just fold it. So basically what you're going to have is the mirror image. So half of that card. Okay, hopefully I'm making sense. Okay, now this is a really good way to practice on a bit of copier paper, 5 by 7 folded in half. So we want to make the neckline, so depending on how you want your neck, whether you want it a v-neck, a round neck, you would cut that. Don't worry about this, this is just your template. And then you sort of want a shoulder, okay? And then, then you want the sleeve bit to sort of come in, okay? So very, very rough. Every time you can make this, if you were doing it on an A4 big card, say, then what you could do is, you could actually, what you would do is, is just have the front sheet of an A4 folded and then it would give you the template for that, yeah? So that's all you're doing, it doesn't matter when you do it. Then obviously, little legs, so you want the little legs, so I've got a template here for the A5, so you just want the little legs as well, yeah? There we go. So, it really depends how you want to do it. And then it's as easy as that. Then you just go in and you cut out those bits that I've just done. Yeah? And if you don't like it, don't worry about it too much. Okay? So, and there is your little template. Then what you do is you take your card, pretend this is my card, because I'm just showing this one for anybody who hasn't, and obviously you can make the neck bigger. You just cut around this, draw around this. Be careful not to cut this bit, because this is what's going to hold it together. Okay, so what you want to do is, you can cut the arm bit, which I've to show you what I did with mine, um, but don't cut this bit. Okay, so that's very important, because if you do, your card will fall apart. The other way you can do it is cut that bit, but don't cut these bits if you folded your card this way. So there's lots and lots of different ways of doing it. There's loads of YouTube videos. Um, I did this for my nephew when he was about well, 10 years ago, and that's why when I learned to do it. So, very, very simple. If you've not got any tools, not got any punches, and you want to do this, just this is the easiest way to do it. Take your card, whatever size you want it, fold it in half, take the one sheet to copy a paper or whatever you've got, fold it so it's like half. So basically this is a five by seven. Cut a bit there, cut a slant, cut a triangle, cut a semicircle, and then use that as your template. Okay? So that's one thing. So that's this was my template I made earlier. Okay? So you can see all I've done is cut that, but do not cut all the way through because if you do, your card will fall apart. Or don't cut this. If your card is, say, folded this way, then you can have it opening upwards. Hopefully that all makes sense and I haven't lost you. And now why are you ladies laughing? Oh, I better have a look at the comments. Not sure. So, there we go. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is if you then want to make it, mine slightly bigger, as you can see, this would be a five by seven. And I've decided, you know what, I don't want to do any cutting because Sally's not very good at cutting. And all I've done is I've taken an A4 sheet of paper, or cardstock, sorry. 
And all I'm going to do, just for this exercise, is I'm going to fold it. Okay. And you can score this, do it properly, just for this exercise. There we go. So that's where my card starts. So can you see? And once you've done your template, you can use your template. But I'm going to show you how I got to this bit which is different to how I did the first one. And that's why I wanted to show you. This is more about techniques of making this card. Okay, so just like I've told, said on the other one, we need to still get, if you want to, you could do it this way, like I've just shown you. Yeah, oops, I want to fold this again. And then you would cut your template and your template would fit perfectly on here. Yeah, however, if you want to do it slightly different, and you can, then I've done it this way. Now, there is lots of ways to do this, um, because what you could do is, you could even take, for example, you could take your die and use that as your template, yeah? So if I put my die here, I could actually stick this down and then cut this bit out to give me my neckline. So that's one way of doing it. Okay, the other way to do it would be to actually, oh, you, we like big cards in the UK, yes, we do. But also this is really nice because you can put a little gift card. So now I'm gonna actually punch my hole. Whoops, just throw it away, darling. Throwing it away. So I'm just going to do eyeball it because that would be, that's dally all over. Let me just take these bits out that I've already cut today so they don't confuse me. Okay, so get the top of your card and if you haven't got a punch, do it the way I've just shown you. Um, do I want it too deep? I don't want it too deep. It doesn't really matter. But what I want is, is I want it to be, I think, here. Mm, about there. Okay, it's going to be roughly right. But if you wanted it to be accurate, you would measure it all, okay? So I'm just doing it by eyeballing it. So then you need a lot of power with these punches. And that is my neckline already done. Okay? Then, the next thing I want to do is I want to do the little legs at the bottom. So again, I'm just going to eyeball that in. And what you could do if you did this and you were worried that it wasn't the right size, you just take your pieces out. And this is where I get really confused.com. And then you would just cut around that, yeah? So as easy as that. And then I'm going to do another one here. Roughly, it's going to be about the same. And there you go. So that's how I created this one. Whereas the other one, you did it with a template. So I really wanted to share that with you because I think it's really, really important. However, you still need to draw your lines in for your, oh, where's my ruler gone? Don't know. So you really, I'm just gonna use this. Roughly, I'm just gonna draw them in. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to start off where I think my arms are going to be roughly. So let's say about here. So just put a little dash there. This is how accurate I am. It's amazing. And a dash there, yeah? And then what you can do is from that, you want that dash to be slightly longer. So about half an inch. So again, Dali's style. I'm just going to come in and I'm going to take about half an inch on both those sides, yeah? There you go. Yeah? And then what you can do is, then you need a slit. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make sure that I take a slit out. Now, if you do this and you get it wrong, this is where the template's really good. So, I've got a slit there, and now we're going to have a slit here okay so now you've got a card which has got two slits for the little baby now 
if you want to make that a bit more like this then you can and we are going to um, look at this again so now if it was now I know I don't want to be sexist but if it was a boy you could leave the arms square yeah I still think this one's a bit more there we are there we go much happier with a template you wouldn't have to do that you could just go in and just do it perfectly because it would be symmetrical because you've done it by halves okay let me just get rid of these few bits here right so again you don't want to cut this at least one of these don't cut them because otherwise it will fall apart okay next job right the way I did it and you can do it whichever way you want to is I decided to do it with distress inks you could actually make this out of patterned paper you could make this out of glitter card you can make it out whatever you want to you could even do a fabric one so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go with yellow very neutral doesn't matter if it's boy or girl as they say I don't know right so what I did was first I came in I am not worried if I get circular oh there's that table go Gloria if I get circular movements hi hi Janet no worries at all so all I'm doing is I'm just coming in and I'm not worrying I'm doing the edges slightly darker and just going in doing some circular motions because I like I want texture on this so if anybody who's just joined us we've got the Stamperia stamp both Pip and I on special today with the die and the die looks like whoops like this just so that you can see and then I've also got the Becky Seddon today we've got it on special which is a doily dreams and you get the die set right, some of it's there and the matching stamp we have got them separately as well if somebody wanted them but that's what I'm using today just these three items and a bit of distress oxide and I'm just going in I just love this and I think this is I, like I said it would make a really nice baby album and these days even grown ups wear onesies especially in some areas there are lots of onesies I'll just wipe that before I get it on my sleeves for some reason my lid has more ink on it than I do just wipe that don't want to be too messy as we know Pip is so tidy oh look I've got it all over my hands that's what I was afraid of there we go God, I'm covered in it today so Paul's doing something under the table now not sure what he has this tendency when I'm on Facebook live to do things which are supposed to distract me I think it's like a ploy to see if I can actually concentrate so there we go so that's my background and that's as simple as that this one. I don't know if this, this distracts outside. Either it's because it's been tilted upside down, but it seems to always um, have lots of ink. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just spray this and leave it. And so we can now, yes Pippi does keep me on my toes, I was checking my wobbly table, oh, he's, he's, he thinks he's worked out why, I'm going to add a little bit more because I don't think I've lifted as much as I'd like to, let it soak in a little bit and then go in with your paper towel, it's only when I sort of do these sort of techniques does the paper uh, sorry the, the thing so now I've got this sort of really nice mottled effect it looks really nice it shows up more on the pink because of the colour right so now the next bit I did and again it's up to you how you want to do this is I started off with the neckline okay okay so the way to do that is 
Now, I actually thought, why don't we even look at it as a little bib? So this is all from one die. So literally, I'm cutting this die up. I'm saving every little bit. And I'm just doing this from this die. This looks really lovely as a, as a Christmas die as well. Okay, so that's one bit that I might put a bib on this one. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to look at how this is going to fit. Okay, now the easiest way is this is actually a really good die to cut. Now, what you need to do is make sure you just hit the top of every oval. And your scissors will automatically do it. Because when you're going, you'll feel the oval. But don't go further than that. You can always tidy it up when you come back in again. Okay, so all I'm doing is hitting the oval bit, not the arch bit. Such a lovely die to work with, I have to say. Um, really good quality. Oops, there we are. I obviously got carried away all by myself there. Not to worry. I did what I shouldn't have done. There, look. But that's okay, because I'm going to use this bit. Okay, now you can work out where you want this. And you know how I was saying earlier, you could even have, even have, you could have actually cut around this if you had wanted to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it where I want it. Don't worry too much about it. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's a little bit over. So, so now, if I wanted to, I could actually position it a little bit lower and then still cut into that. That's what I was trying to say. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it roughly there. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to colour that with the distressed oxide. So just go in, just... Depends on how you want to, how much ink you want to apply, how much you don't. I'm not too fussed, this is the first layer I'm putting down. I've used so much of this dye in so many different ways. Dye? Yeah, that's right, dye. I'll turn that over before. I'm going to have to do something about that. Okay. And now what I can do is, you see how pretty it looks already? Is then I'm just going to use a little bit of my glue and I'm just going to come in, just dab a little bit on there. It's my little old paintbrush stick actually that I'm using. And then I'm going to come in, I'm roughly going to, I don't mind if it goes over a little bit or anything like that. I'm not too fussed. And just be careful you don't glue the other side. Okay? So you could move it a little bit up. There we go. Okay, so we need a little bit more glue here. There we go. And I'm not too fussed. There we go. That's really nice now. And then, make sure you can still open it. What you need to do is turn your card over and then snip this bit off. That's all you're doing. Hold up. And snip this bit off. Then you've got the perfect circle there. Now if you wanted to, you can come in Turn it over, it's a lot, lot easier to work that way. Come in and then just snip that bit off as well. Just means it just neatens it all up for you. Yeah? So that was really, really easy to do. So you've got your first layer down. Okay. Now, you're going to have... Lots and lots, it's still a bit wet there, you see. Lots and lots of um, bits left over where you've been cutting. So what I'm going to start to do is I'm actually going to layer these on top to make this really nice frilly bib for the little baby. So just take your ink pad, just do... So I've got all of these. These have just all been cut from whatever we've got, I've got left. Uh, from when I've been cutting round. So keep all the bits because these are so useful to make like little borders, to make little uh, designs. Now you could do this in a blue, you could do it in a green, you could do it in a mixture like a rainbow little onesie. 
which would be uh, really nice. So I'm just going through them. If you find some that aren't so good, then we can always get rid of them. It's not a big problem. Now you can do both sides actually if you wanted to. If you're lifting them, you might want to. Okay, just put that on there. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I should have used a bit thicker cardstock. This is quite thin. My other one was thicker. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to layer these. And these work really well. You'll see how they layer. And basically, that ink pad is a nightmare. Just dipping them into my glue and then I'm sticking those. Just the edges. I'm not sticking the bottom bit down. I'm just sticking the edges. Because I want to be able to lift them. And basically a bit like paper piecing, I suppose, for some of you. So you can offset it slightly if you if you want to. Try not to stick all your fingers down with it. And keep going around your little bib. If anybody's got any questions, please shout. Yes, it would. It would. I did try that, Debbie, to try and add it to the the bits. What I did was I ended up using this bit instead, the other bit, which is this bit there from what was left over. So I've made use of all of the actual dye. It looks beautiful this dye when it's done in lots and lots of different ways. And you know, you've probably got lots of dyes at home that you could use to create this technique as well. So all I'm doing is I'm dipping, I'm actually just dipping the edges into some glue and then coming in with it. Okay. And it's such a nice, and it's a, you know, it's a flat card, so it doesn't have to have lots and lots of layers or anything like that. And so then what I'm going to do, you should really let it dry a little bit, is then you can lift these up, yeah? So I'll let those dry a little bit. Now we could go in and we could add another layer It'd look really, really nice, and you can obviously add lots and lots of layers. Okay. So, the next thing is I'm going to do the sleeves, okay, and the legs. Now, the best way to do those is now is to cut the ovals like I did before, but the other side now. Somebody's sending me lots of pictures. Uh, there we go. And then all we're going to do is we can use that bit now. So really, you're going to use all of this, really, this die, in some way or another. Just be careful when you're doing it. Sexist. Oh, okay. So... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put that there, yeah? So in fact I could probably cut this one off now. There we go. And again, let's make that, put the yellow on it. So it's such a nice way to work. And now you could use, you could use lace. You don't have to use, you don't have to use paper to do it. But I just think it works really nicely. And again, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back. I just think it's such a cute thing to do. And you could do this with, you know, any of your sort of cards. So again, you could put this down first and then cut around it. Yeah, so that you've got it perfect. We'll do the other side as well. And I'm just dabbing it on. I'm not going to tan with it or anything. And you can do both sides. So, and then what you want to do is, is you want to put that one down as well. Yeah. So can you see how that's all coming together really, really easily? It's not difficult. Just cut that off. It's a really easy technique, but it's just so rewarding. I just find it, it's very, very rewarding. Okay, obviously you take your time at home, not like Dali. Whoop. So I did the pink challenge one, which was this one, obviously. And like I said, we've got the die, the, the stamp, and so is Pip on special. Don't forget to sign up for your workshops because we have sold out stock. We've just ordered some more of the pent-up bits. 
um, we are very low now on the CIA pad so just be aware of that and birdsong is so those two we're a little bit low on okay and we will not be reprinting those not in anyway not in, in this year anyway so and we have lots and lots of new collections Pip did a nice Facebook live with the rustic one yesterday we've got lots more coming June has got loads coming May's got a new pad coming never stops and we've had all the stamps delivered today as well so they will be on their way to Pip and I know Jill's owed some so there we go so that gives you those two little bits now we can do the same for the sleeves if you didn't want to you don't have to but you can do the same for the sleeves as well so the way I did the sleeves again exactly the same way so let me think which is best what I'm going to do is first I'm just going to cut and this is what I mean if you just go round you don't have to be fussy cutting just go around and just push your scissors and it will fall off by itself I'm not actually cutting as such it's weird you probably can even hear it and this becomes such a lovely little doily which is why it's called doily dreams unless I'm making that okay oh I forgot all about my bib didn't I I talked about my bib at the beginning forgot about it altogether Where's my bib gone? Mm, disappeared now. Probably cut it up. So if we wanted, we could. Let's cut that in half and see if we can make a bib out of this bit. So we could have. So what I would do, which is I've not been able to do because I've already stuck it down, is you could have put a bib under there yeah so do you get what i mean i can't lift it now it's too late but if you'd want it and you'd done it properly and you were paying attention dolly wouldn't that look actually you could still do that and then just taper it into here yeah you could even put little bits of um, uh, little um, string here just to, to 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 do it so we could easily do that now just see if i can push it any further i can't push it any further but that's what it would look like if you had a little bib in there. Just thinking if I um, oops, sticking it in there. So yeah, there we go. Now the other way, oops, there we go. And then these will all come up. Oh, look, I've got three on this one now. Clever girl. I could put another one on that one and leave the two on this one now. So I might do that. Let me do that. I have got another yellow one here. Let me do that as well. Just, just talk to myself, really. It's uh, so now I've got three on these two bits. So can you see how you could actually really make that quite frilly for a little girl, or even a little boy these days? Mm. So I really like the way that comes. Look, let me show you all that dimension. But it will lie flat. And then if you wanted to put your bib in, then you could have your bib there as well. If you didn't, you could also put a little bib like this. So that looks quite cute as well, doesn't it? So lots and lots of different ways. Let's do these arms. So again, cut through the ovals. You'll get it. It's been, just practice it on copier paper. That's what I always say to people. And then what you'll get is this like really nice. And you could use this for the boys' arms if you wanted, because it's a little bit more different. Right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do that like that. Okay, so very same as I did the legs, but the arms. Now you could have left it square and put something else on it. You could have, you know put little bits like this on it or something or you could have drawn lines onto it but I've chosen to do it like this so let's colour this one as well so it's a really easy card to do it's not difficult but uh, they are a necessity even with adults sometimes 
Um, so it's always um, always nice. I don't know what I'm doing now. So I'm going to sort of put that there. Okay. So you've got an idea. So I'm going to stick that down again, and then I can cut it afterwards. So if you don't worry too much about these things, just do it roughly. Eyeball it again. Just what Dolly does. Okay. There we go. Try not to put glue everywhere on it because that won't be a good look. Okay. And then we do the same again. So cut through the top of the oval so that you don't cut the line above it. And again, we've got this like really nice TikTok, I call it. I don't know why. And then you get this really lovely bit for the sleeves again. Okay. Now the arms, it's, 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 you can see, so you can, depending on where you cut it, you'll get more of a line. And I've put, made the arms a little bit thicker than the, arm, the legs. So again, we're doing... And then again, and you can count how many you've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arches roughly. And then you can do the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can do it. So eyeball it again. Now I know on this side I've got more uh, more square than I have on that side. I, I noticed that already. So I can actually cheat here and cut away a little bit more. So these are now the same. See? I knew what I was doing. So, mistakes can always be fixed. So I'm just going to make this slightly out, uh, a little bit out of that one. So can you see? Maybe not that much. There we go. And that will give you that bit. Okay, now go back in again, like I've done before. Cut the edges off. Of your pages, of your lacy bits. And again, you know, you could do whatever you wanted with this. I mean, this is just a very, very simple, extremely simple idea. Now, if you had twins, you could put them together. So, or even triplets, and you could make a little um, album. You can put some photographs in it for them gift cards okay so now you've got that now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this bit now this is where i said you could do it this way so all i'm doing is coming in and i'm cutting that bit off okay so it's as simple oops, it's as simple as that try not to put glue all over all your scissors and again same here and just make sure you ink everything up because you'll have white edges now. Okay, so now you've got the out. And then what you do is you just go in and you're just going to colour in all of those bits. Make sure everything is sticking. Okay, all keys. Obviously at home, please take your time and make it a lot tidier than I ever do. So can you see how it's coming along? Isn't it beautiful? I just think it's so lovely. Such an easy, easy concept, but really, really nice. Let's put a smaller bit. So I'm still after that little bib idea, aren't I? Oh, I like that. Let's put that there. So again, just take your. You know what it is? I also. Ooh, also lean against the table, that doesn't really help either. So, can't me just throwing everything about today. So what that can do is, now go into the, look at that. So we're not wasting anything, we're just adding and adding these layers. I'm just playing, to be honest with you, I am just having a blast with this. These are all the leftovers. See how nice that looks now. So it's just building that little picture up. Let's make sure it's all set, set in the right way. Now if you wanted to, you could come in again and add, a, add another flap if you wanted to underneath. 
to again give it more dimension let's do that because it looks nice doesn't it i'm just going to do that as well i'm making this up as i'm going along by the way ladies i have no intentions of adding this many frills to a little baby but it's looking really really nice and oh, underneath not over the top in this case um, just want to make sure I haven't got too much of it sticking out on one side to the other and that makes it perfect. There you go. So can you see how how that looks? Now you could you could put another layer on. It could be a really extravagant baby baby onesie, couldn't it? So but we won't. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is bring in my dye, which I looks so beautiful and again what you could do is you could even lay this so if you wanted to mirror image it you could lay it again over the dies there's just so many ways of doing it and the dies really do speak I've got this this yellow fossil amber it's called is the most muckiest distress oxide I've ever used it's gone everywhere absolutely everywhere and I bet you I won't get it off my hands for weeks now so I'm just doing this. It's a really nice colour. So there we go, little teddy bears in there. So can you see how easy it is? You could even put splashes on it, you know, if you wanted to. So now that can go in. So I've kept it all tone on tone because I quite like that look. Now if you wanted to, you could actually put a bit of black behind that and shadow that. Yeah, see how well it shadows? But because I haven't got black anywhere else on this, I don't know if that's just too much. Um, if I had it in a lighter colour, I mean, I've got a, I've got a pinky colour, but I don't think that's going to work. Could have actually have done it in a bit more whitey colour, I suppose. But can you see how you could? The black looked really nice, didn't it? So if I've got a blue one cut out as well. Blue one might work better. I don't know, what do you all think? Should I... What do you all think? Hmm. So it gives that drop shadow effect, which is really nice. I think I actually like it. So I'm going to go with it. So it actually looks nice. So just going to layer them both up. And this is the beauty of them. You could do these in different colours. You could cut them and put pegs on them. So it looks like a washing line. There is so many things you can do with this die set. It is so versatile. So there we go. So I'm just sticking that down. And then I'm going to actually put the yellow as a drop shadow over the top. Or this as the top bit with the blue shadow. Do make sure you take all your bits out. Not like Dally. Don't do anything Dally does really. It's not a good idea. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to offset that a little bit. Not too much. Just enough to get a little bit of a drop shadow. There we go. Maybe not that much, maybe. There we go. So if you leave some of them, got a teddy bear's looking good. So can you see now, you've got a little bit of shadow there. Now if you wanted to, you could use the stamps to <coughs> add newborn like I'm going to. Or you could also, I did have one here, We've got another one here, and we could actually lift that to say baby even higher. Okay, so it's just things like that. You could go away and do that. But I really am liking that. I've got a couple of buttons I want to stick on, and then I'll do the stamping for the stamp. <coughs> so it's just a simple thing I wanted to do to show you. But, well, actually, it was just doing the challenge, really. Oops. As you can see, I eyeball everything, and then I wonder why it's not in the centre or something. So I do the two edges, and I can put the other one in the middle. Okay, so you could even put little press studs on. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. 
so now the next thing I want to do is I love my lovely it's a very posh card a look a pink and a yellow oh look at them they're all adding up I like that drop shed I think right I'm going to do some stamping very very simple some beautiful stamps in this one absolutely beautiful and what I do is I take these little bits and I stamp on them so I'm going to take the little bow and I'm going to just stamp that on there okay I'm going to take that little bow out really nice rubber stamps so the quality is absolutely beautiful so I'm just quickly cutting this out but can you see oh, they, oh I just want to collect them all now my little onesie collection so now what you could do is I'll show you in a minute let me do this I mean you could make it out a little gingham you can make them you know they could be quite fun you might have some animal papers that you might want to use that you didn't know what to do with you know, so really, really nice way to do it. Cut your bow a lot better than I've cut mine, please. Not even looking at it, it looks like it's had a bit of a bad day. So this is really nice because it really fits well. And you could put a little fabric bow on there, but do you know what? It all fits so, so well together. And I've got everything in one place. That's if I want to. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? You could, you know, we do a little newborn. I don't even put them onto a um, stamp block. I'm just using because they are sticky. And this is quite a nice newborn. And again, you could make a smaller circle and then still use that. But we'll just use this for now. Let's cut that in. You could even have a little archway going on there. So it just makes it a little bit more interesting. So, and then we'll do the same. And then we can sort of chuck that in just there. It just looks so, so pretty, I think. And I think that's what it's all about, is, is that it's simple, but it's pretty as well. Move that up a little bit. It's a little newborn. And then if you wanted, like I've done, you can put another bow here, which will sort of balance that up. And you can put another second bow on there as well. So do you sort of, you know, like, you could do whatever you want. And then inside, you could write a really nice, do an insert... We'll make a pocket and and then that way um, I hope you've enjoyed this bit different for me um, card I just love the way they all come together um, I think they really tell a lovely story um, so you could do a grown up onesie book that'd be funny wouldn't it like slippers and all sorts so uh, I think it's quite a it's quite a nice funky idea myself. I've got a rabbit onesie, it's so cute. Got one of my friend's daughters, who's thirteen, gave it to me. So you could put another layer there. You see how that starts to build it up and gives it real dimension. So I'm just going to put that there. It just adds to it. And again, you could carry on building this. I've only done it just so that you can have a look today at how it could be. But there is so much. Look at it. Looks like I've had a fight. So, you know, like I said to you, you could, you know, put your little milk bottle on. You know, if you were making an album, you'd obviously go to town with this. Look at the little shoes. Oh, they're so good. It's all so cute. Oh yes, we did get Pingo or Pip. <laughs> That's what we call her. Um, a onesie. It's so soft, wasn't it? Or is? Hopefully she's still got it. We like our onesies. The only thing is, you know. Oh uh, yeah, she probably is wearing it now. Uh, the only thing is, is that when you're cotton, when you have to go to 
the washroom it is very cold I know but it looks like I've had a five of these today so can you see similar different messier but gives you an idea and you can build on these and you know you can make a set so when I says to you all you can make them into albums easily what you could do is um, you could then start to you could stick that one into there like that and then what you could do is put holes and then this becomes your little album look at your little onesie album look at that you've got two pages already made and two pages to go so easily you could do that you know and if you wanted to what you could do is actually make a little little um spine here and then you could use it that way and then stick these into the actual spine as you would in a book but can you see how easy it is to do that the other way you could do it is is by having a bit here bridging it there and cutting this away then it opens upwards so hopefully it wasn't going to be a long one today um hopefully i've given you some inspiration on how to work with these but can you see all the stamps you get those two i've used and how beautiful they are and the quality is absolutely gorgeous i do like these little rug rats i don't know if that's what they're really called i'm sure but you can see and then obviously you've got the matching bits and pieces from all the bibby bibs oh we've got dummy uh, well you call it something totally different but that pram would look really nice wouldn't it oops so you could have a little push chair so if you were doing an album i would actually put these in but say if you're just posting it to somebody and you want to keep it flat this is a really nice way to keep it flat ignore my mess today i don't know what, what's come over me today so but go to town, do what you want to do, add another bow. And that's it really. I just wanted to keep it very, 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 very simple. That's really nice, our angel. Yeah, it would look lovely as bunting. It would look really, really lovely. That's a good idea. Never thought of that. I like that. I know it's really nice if you've got somebody who's either got little ones, so this doesn't have to be for a newborn. This could be for a one to two year old. And sometimes it's quite hard to, to know what to make. And these are a really lovely way to do it. Now, the other one you could do is do the pram. Now, a pram is really, really easy to do. I'll show you because I can. So she says, I'll show you and then she wonders how she's going to do it. Okay, it's probably not the best piece to pick up. But there's your pram. So maybe make it a bit bigger. Maybe I'll take a see if I've got a better piece to show you. Yeah. I haven't got a better piece to show you. I'm going to stick with this one. So let's see if I do it this way. There we go, that's a bit better. And obviously that would be thinner. And then if you have a look at this pram, when you could do it this way as well. That's all it is. Half a semicircle and another quarter of a circle. So actually you could use what you've cut already so you've got your circle <laughs> and then you've got your little side bit and I'll work it out it might take me a few weeks and there you go and you've got a little push chair and then if you want your little wheels you can just cut little circles out and have them as your little wheels for your push chair or even little cogs Put a little bow on it, put a little handle on it, and then you've got a little pram. And you could do that in a bigger version. So you could have that, like, this little collection in an album. I'm getting really excited now, and I want to make one. I don't know anybody who's having a baby, but that's not the point. Um, so anyway, that's me jabbering on. You could stay it too, Debbie. Yeah, good gift bag. Oh, lots of good, good feedback today. I'm liking this. Thank you, Jill. But yeah, lots and lots of different ideas. But have a play. Um, love to see what you guys make. But um, 
these are just nice easy cards that you can put in the post and if you want to make smaller ones then obviously make smaller ones um, but just gives you an idea and this is all done freehand so it's not a template or anything it was just something um, that you can just do there's loads seriously there is so much on YouTube if you just just type in onesie you will see it but if you want to watch this again it will be on YouTube but I really think that if you haven't got a punch you haven't got any dies you could still do this use some doilies um, maybe use some of your stamps and um, it's quite easy but have a lovely day good luck family for your um, jabs I've had both of mine and I uh, was very poorly after my second one but I am getting better uh, and uh, as, uh, as uh, Pip says don't forget your pink challenge to be um, entered into a workshop and um, obviously whatever you want to do I know Terry's had some little um, little ones uh, not Terry herself but her family and uh, so she um, this would be really lovely for them maybe for their first birthdays and stuff and then you can make little gift cards as well which can go inside as well so there's lots and lots of different things to do and lots of different ways to do it but even if you're given a little box you could put this on the front of a box and that would be great but um, enjoy your day um, have fun and I will see you next Thursday um, don't forget to sign up for your workshops as well or, and take a look at the special offers on both these stamps and dies take care bye bye for now